Hey guys, Dash here. We've had some time with the new Fallout 4 DLC, Far Harbor, and I'm here to share with you the best of what to expect with minimum spoilers. To get to Far Harbor, you're going to take the missing persons case from the Valentine Detective Agency in Diamond City. Be careful when you head over to the Nakano residence. That whole area is pretty isolated. Or just go as far north, then west as possible until you leave the Pip-Boy map. There you'll find a family whose daughters run away. Confused and in contact with a group from Far Harbor, she's taken her father's fishing boat and traveled north. Follow her to solve the mystery. Will there be sea monsters? Oh. The town of Far Harbor is built entirely on a coastal pier on the edge of the island. Run by the Captain Avery, the town has a lot of trouble. Something's coming through the fog! Yeah. First of which is the radioactive fog that covers the island and the local wildlife that live within. Mutated from a species of salamander, the gulper continues to grow throughout its life. The largest are also the oldest and deadliest. Anglers wait in ambush for prey to come to them. The glowing lure mimics the look of a flower common to the island. The fog crawler has been mutated and is seldom encountered outside the deadly mist. Wolves in the wilds beyond Far Harbor have been mutated by the radioactive fog and roam in ferocious, bloodthirsty packs. And last but definitely not least are the hermit crabs, who are protected by the shell of a salvaged van. With new animals also comes new recipes. Fried fog crawlers greatly increase damage resistance in foggy and rainy conditions. Grilled hermit crab adds plus two to strength and endurance. Poached angler adds 15 AP and reduced fall damage. Seasoned rabbit skewers adds one to luck. Wolf ribs gives a small accuracy bonus and also night vision for five minutes. Chicken noodle soup gives you 55 rad resist and gulper slurry makes you invisible for 10 seconds. There are also new beverages. Fire Belly causes you to do more damage that gradually increases at low health, and Where's Brew removes 100 points of radiation and adds 100 points of health. Punishment is pretty clear, Captain. Do what you must. Yeah! Unsurprisingly, the people of Far Harbor distrust outsiders, but particularly hate the children of Adam. Glory to Adam! Glory to Adam! A cult who worships the radioactive fog that's slowly killing the island, so that kind of makes sense. We are all devoted servants to Adam here. The harbormen attempt to take control of the fog with condensers, and you can use the condensed fog to craft sludge packs to make you more agile or durable, and cocktails that make you more resilient or strong. These condensers were a gift from the prototype synth living in an old astronomical observatory. Primarily a refuge for synths, Arcadia outwardly expresses a desire for peace with all the other residents of the island. I don't mean to question you, but what's the first memory you have? If you're aligned with either the Brotherhood or the Institute, you can tell them of the Synth Refuge and help eliminate it. But I kept that info to myself, at least for now. I'm in the Brotherhood of Steel, and we have plenty to say about Synths. To guide you to Arcadia is a man named Longfellow. He knows the fog better than anyone, and if you reach your destination alive, he will be your companion, allowing you to use his cabin as a workshop. You can then set up a supply line to the Commonwealth. Might even be sober too. <laughs> Through the side missions for Far Harbor, I was able to set up three more settlements on the island, which were rich with wood and steel. As far as buildings, there are new barn structures and tons of fishing themed items. There's also new weapons available with Far Harbor. The radium rifle irradiates bullets as they are fired, causing ballistic damage with an extra kick of radiation damage that is deadly to humans. It can be modded to be automatic and is powerful as the combat rifle with 45 ammo, but with better fire rate and recoil. If you receive the unique radical conversion as a quest reward, it ignores 30% of target's damage and energy resistance. The lever action rifle is a large caliber weapon designed to kill even the biggest animals using a new ammo type, the 4570, which does better damage closer 
and is great for headshots. Its slow fire rate and reload time are its biggest drawbacks, but you can purchase Old Reliable, which shoots an additional projectile from the vendor at Acadia. Originally mounted on whaling ships, the harpoon gun is a heavy weapon that has proven effective against the mutated creatures plaguing Far Harbor. Just like the railway rifle, this is great for pinning body parts to walls and the ability to reuse harpoons you pull from corpses. That's so awesome. There's not many mod options, but you can make the harpoons barbed or fire a shotgun blast of harpoon fleche. Improvised heavy fishing and ship hooks are the close quarter weapon of choice for the denizens of the island. You can craft extra hooks for your meat hook, and these are fist weapons. Now, I received the butcher's hook as a reward, which refills your action points on a critical hit. The fish gaff is a melee weapon that can also have extra hooks mounted to it, causing it to puncture armor. Bloodletter is a unique gaff that causes targets to bleed for 25 points of additional damage. There are unique versions of existing weapons as well. The Children of the Atom will reward you with Atom's Judgment, a super sledge with broken fusion cores mounted on it that add 100 points of radiation damage. And the Striker, which I found in a bowling alley, is a converted fat man that shoots modified bowling balls with a 50% chance to cripple the target's legs. And you can craft its ammo in the chemistry bench. You can now also craft traps. The bear trap and bleeding bear trap can be crafted at a blacksmith one and two respectively. Poison caltrops require chemist one, but you don't need any perks to make regular ones and only require steel. Trappers were once ordinary fishers and hunters, but have been driven to madness by the horrors of the island and its radioactive fog, which makes sense, I don't judge at all. They wear special armor that is very similar to raider armor and is modded in the same way. Complete the outfit with the trapper leathers and lobster trap hat. The hunter pelt outfit and hood offer good damage resist, but at a heavy weight, which is the same problem with the coastal armor. The fisherman outfits come in a couple of varieties, including different colors overalls. You can receive the Legend of Harbor outfit when you defeat the Red Death. Pair this with the unique hat you receive for doing the Captain's Dance. If you help Far Harbor, Captain Avery is going to reward you with the Rescue Diver Suit, which allows you to breathe underwater and offers 250 radiation protection. This will help when diving for lost armor shipments like the Marine Wetsuit and the Tactical Helmet, which were designed for nighttime reconnaissance operations, as well as the Assault version of the Marine Combat Armor, which offers exceptional protection against both ballistic and energy attacks and is surpassed only by Power Armor itself. The Children of Adam wear the Zealot's Marine Armor, which can be modified to Assault or Inquisitor at Armor and Science Rank 4, but the helmets cannot be modded. You will receive a unique armor piece from the Children of Adam, and there's also a Recon Legendary version helmet and armor that can be bought from the different vendors across the island. There are a lot of locations on the island, one in particular you will have to go for at least once in the Vim Pop Factory. Vim was a pre-war soda pop native to New England. Residents consider it a point of pride to drink it over the more nationally recognized New Coca-Cola brand. The location is overrun with super mutants who like to bathe in soda vats. I sure hope that that wasn't the secret ingredient. Go to the marketing department and you'll find a full set of T-51 power armor with a new paint scheme. The Vim experience for your power armor is available in regular and refresh. You also learn about a super mutant named Ericsson who now lives in some airplane wreckage where he trades goods, sells guard dogs and gives tips on areas around the island, like this hotel with a familiar looking structure outside. After some exploring, you'll find the entrance to Vault 118 and the mystery it hides inside. In addition to achievements for completing several of the quest lines, there's also one for collecting all issues of The Islander's Almanac. Get hooked for defeating 30 Far Harbor creatures, become the New England vacationer when you discover 20 Far Harbor locations, and push back the fog when you unlock 3 Far Harbor workshop locations and just add salt water if you cook one of the new Far Harbor recipes. Now that's everything we know about Far Harbor, the last of the announced DLC. We know more is coming and have heard the rumors about the next being called 
Nuka World. So let us know in the comments below what you think of the DLC so far and what you want to see in the next one. This is Dash from Curse saying glory to the atom and enjoy the game. Ambush.